Welcome to my kitchen where I'm going to be making gluten-free, dairy-free scones. This will be the quickest, easiest scone recipe you've ever used. Let's get started. If you're baking along with me, go ahead and set your oven to 425 degrees. It literally takes longer to preheat the oven than it does to get these scones ready. Here we go. I'm gonna start with one and a half cups of my flour blend. And if you were able to watch the flour blend um, episode, you know that I do not add xanthan gum to my blend. I do it in each recipe because I like to be able to control that. Um, so this is one of those examples where I want less xanthan gum in my, my flour blend because the xanthan gum is what gives it the chewy texture. And I don't want chewy in a scone. I want flaky and crumbly. I don't want it to crumble so much that you can't pick it up but I do want it to have that crumble when um, you take a bite. So I'm only going to be using a half a teaspoon of xanthan in this recipe. I'm also going to add four teaspoons of baking powder. This is what will give it some rise. One, two, three, a half a teaspoon of salt fourth of a cup of sugar and two cups of gluten-free oats. I'm using Bob's Red Mill certified gluten-free oats here. Did I say two cups? Yes. Okay, <laughs> two cups. Now that I have all of my dry ingredients in, I'm going to give it a swirl. Did you add the sugar? I did add the sugar. I did add the sugar. I remember opening that container. <laughs> is this where we tell everyone this is take two? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, this is take two and we're doing an experiment to see if these work with no sugar because then you could use them as a biscuit instead of a scone. Because those over there, there have no sugar in them because I forgot. <laughs> Wet ingredients. Thanks. <laughs> so this is what makes these the quickest, easiest scones you'll ever make. I'm using melted butter. Most scone recipes you need to either cut in butter or rub it in. This one you get to start with melted butter, which makes it quick and easy. So I have already melted my butter and I'm using the word butter um, Loosely. <laughs> this is actually the Wildlife plant-based butter. Um, I'm using this butter because it does it is gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, nut-free. Um, and I do like the flavor of it. But whatever brand of butter product you use should work just fine for this recipe. So to my melted butter, I'm going to add a third of a cup of milk. And again, milk is loosely, this is almond milk. Um, that just happens to be what I keep on hand to cook with. So a third of a cup is in. One egg. Now I'm gonna mix that up. Thank you. 
and add to my dry ingredients. And then I'm mixing until incorporated. It will be a dry dough and that's great if you get to the point where it's not all mixed in and you need to use your hands, that's fine too. Um, in a gluten containing dough, if you were to knead it more, you would activate the, the gluten in it, which is what gives it that elasticity that you don't want in a scone, but there's no gluten in this. So if you do need to knead it with your hands, totally fine. All right, I am all mixed up. Now I'm going to divide my dough in half and move over here to my prepared baking sheet. Again, with my parchment paper so I don't have to wash. Pat it out into a nice round disc. I should say, I do wash my baking pans. I just don't have to scrub them. <laughs> All right, two nice round discs, grab my knife. And I'm just going to cut them into wedges and scooch them apart so that when I put them in the oven, they can get nice and even golden brown. That's it, ready for the oven. All right, here it goes, 425. And I'll put the <laughs> accidental ones in. <laughs> I may have just invented something amazing. Well, you're doing both. You got sugar free as well. Cool. <laughs> so, since those are in the oven, this is a great time for me to remind you please subscribe. You subscribing costs you nothing and it means everything to me. So, please remember to su subscribe and thank you for following us. Like and add notifications so that you can see all the great recipes we have for you. While my scones are cooking, I'm going to make a batch of jam. So it takes about 15 minutes for my scones to bake and I'm gonna make a small batch of strawberry jam. I have a cup of frozen strawberries here. So I'm adding those to my pan, which is way too big for what I'm doing. And three fourths cup sugar. One. half a teaspoon of pectin. Now I'm gonna turn the burner on very low underneath of this and stir it around as it all melts together and gets yummy. The danger here is the sugar burning, so I have to keep it moving until it turns to liquid. I'm not adding separate liquid because I do have frozen strawberries. So as they melt, they're going to release liquid um, in my pan. So I don't want to add an additional liquid. If you were starting with fresh strawberries, which you know in another month or so I could do, um, add like about a teaspoon of lemon juice or orange juice. Since I didn't use my pastry blender when I was making my scones to cut in the butter, I'm gonna use it to chop my strawberries now. Nothing better than fresh jam on warm scones. 
Well, actually there would be something better. My own strawberries in fresh jam. <laughs> They're out there growing. Yeah, they have blooms on them. I just want most of the big chunks broke up so because as it cooks, they will um, disintegrate a little bit more and that way you get strawberry in every bite. Because it's just starting to bubble around the edge. I don't want it to come to a rolling boil, but I do want to see that just a little bit of right around the edge. And it'll, it'll thicken up. So as the sugar melts and the pectin activates, it'll thicken up a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a... Presentation thing? Yep. Well, then that'll, wait, it'll cool too, because it yeah. needs to cool in order to set up. That ooey gooey goodness. Oops, I dribbled. All right, they're ready to come out of the oven. So notice how glu uh, glutinous, <laughs> no gluten. Notice how golden brown they are on top. And when I press on them, there's only a little bit of give. Um, so they're not doughy in the middle. Woo. Beautiful. Okay. Going to. Look at that crumble. I'm using oat milk butter. We like the flavor even better than real butter. It melts and tastes like something you want to eat. She's not joking. I don't have to eat that and I use it over real butter any day of the week. Now, <laughs> my jam has not set up yet. It's pretty much just strawberry syrup because I just took it off the stove and just took these out of the oven. But as we know, I'm impatient. So here goes. I'm going to eat this with a fork. Yum. Warm scone, melty butter, yummy jam. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Give me Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yep, I'm hungry. Mm. 